Hello makeup lovers. Today we are going to be decluttering my concealer collection and I have to be honest with y'all, this is probably going to be my hardest declutter yet. Like the hardest for me personally because I have a lot of concealers. I love concealers and I feel like I can see something special in every single one. So maybe this will end up being more of a collection video than like a very intense, no mercy type of declutter. I don't know that that's what's gonna happen today. I don't know who in their right mind needs this many concealers, but apparently I do. So before we jump in all the way, I did just wanna say thank you guys for all the love so far on my previous declutter videos. I'm really happy that you're enjoying this because I'm actually enjoying filming it. And yeah, I think that it's actually been a really good time. The comment section has been extremely positive, which I wasn't expecting, so just wanted to say thank you. Let's start organizing. Okay, so here we have all of my traditional concealers, everything that is just in like your doe foot wand liquid formula. I've got, one, two, three. I've got 24 concealers here and I'm already finding this difficult. So I think I'm gonna go through and just start off by picking out like my favorite concealers and the ones that like, there's just no way I could absolutely part with. So for one, just staring right at me, even though she is a very dirty girl. We'll clean her up real quick. It's not my fault for this one actually. The applicator gets really messy very easily and every time you use it, like a little bit extra comes out. It's kind of a packaging flaw. But this is the Rosing Concealer in the shade LX010. And I love this shade. I feel like it is the perfect concealer for my skin tone. You can see how messy it gets inside, which is truly sad but it's like the most beautiful, true, neutral shade. It looks glowy and hydrating underneath the eyes and it's definitely one of my favorite formulas, even though I haven't reached for it as much lately because I have just been going for the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer over and over again. I have the shade Y1, which is a little bit warmer. Personally, if I have to choose between a warm and a cool tone, I'll go more warm. I consider myself to be very neutral, but sometimes with concealer, I'll go a little bit more on the warm side. This is not super yellow, but I love it. It's such a good, pretty high coverage glam concealer. It looks really nice underneath the eyes. It's not super glowy by any means, but it sets down beautifully. So that is definitely staying with me. And then also the new Fenty Beauty Concealer. I'm still testing this. It's pretty new to me. It is in the shade 110W, I believe, which again, Again, I went for the more warm shade, but I thought this was the best shade that worked for me when I was swatching in store. You can see that one is definitely a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter than the Natasha Denona High Glam. Another favorite that I have here is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer, and this is in the shade LG1. This one, I wish that they did have one lighter shade available. It, this is better as like a spa concealer or I'm concealing underneath my eyes, but I don't really want any brightness. I feel like it looks kind of similar to the other tones here, but on the skin, it's not brightening for me, but it has good coverage. It looks really beautiful. Like it just has that kind of glowy-esque finish to it. Stunning. I also really love the Thread Beauty Concealer, which I feel like is similar to the LYS one. This is in the shade 01 Fair Neutral. And I feel like in the tube, like looking at every other concealer I have here, this looks like it's a little bit deep, but it actually blends out lighter, which is so strange. I've never had another concealer that did that. It also has more warm tones than any of these other concealers. You can see it is the most yellow, even though it is called a fair neutral shade, but it looks really brightening. It's only $7. It has a really beautiful glow to it. And I just feel like it's really nice. It's not like my most glam concealer if I'm feeling more glam, more full coverage. I'm more like Natasha Nona rose ink vibes, but this is still a really, really great one. And then, let's see, I also have the new Laura Mercier Real Flawless Foundation, or sorry, concealer, concealer that I'm testing out. 
Um, I have this one in the shade 0N1, another neutral gal right here. This is a lighter coverage, very creamy concealer, but it actually looks kind of pink swatched out compared to everything else. Again, this is new to me. I'm testing it, so it doesn't really, I can't declutter it. <laughs> and then an oldie but a goodie. I have the NARS Chantilly Concealer in, wait, his. I meant to say the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. I've owned this in the past and I repurchased it not too long ago because I kind of missed it. It has like a brightening, kind of warm color, but it is very, very fair. I feel like it's fair. I don't know why I said fear instead of fair. I'm scared of being pale, no. Um, it is definitely the most brightening so far of all the swatches. It's kind of fun swatching everything together because I don't normally do that. But I really love this concealer as well. Another really good high coverage one. Happy to have it back in my life. I feel like that one has definitely stood the test of time. Another concealer that can stay is the Pat McGrath concealer. And I have this one in the shade L1. This is a super brightening concealer. I feel like I need to mix it a little. It looks like it's kind of separating. But another really good light one. I feel like it's a little bit more neutral than Chantilly. Maybe in a little bit more bright, but I feel like Chantilly like goes with my skin tone a little bit better, but this one is really good. And it definitely packs on the coverage, packs on the glam. Let's regroup a little bit, see what we're working with now. Okay, so I would say that we're pretty much at the point where I'm not like obsessed with any of these concealers, but there are still some really good ones. So I have the Kosas concealers, which I actually had in my Shot My Sash for January, which I haven't filmed a review of yet because I kind of got distracted filming declutters and I almost feel like I should like pause shopping my stash until I finish decluttering. That way I can like actually get use out of things and like I already know what I'm looking at because there's like products I'm excited to shop my stash for now. So yeah, I'm not sure. There might be a pause and we'll like maybe bring it back in March. Hopefully you're not like upset about that, but I'm still, I'm still here for it. I'm just kind of taking my time. So I did like make an effort to reach for these more this month and I do like them. They're really nice. I have the shade... 0.5 N and then I have 01. So 01 I bought originally because it was the first shade that they had or like the first lightest shade and it does work for me, but it's definitely closer to my skin tone. It's definitely a little bit a little bit deeper than what I would like for like an under eye concealer. And I do prefer this type of formula for under eyes because it's more glowy, more lightweight. I feel like if I'm trying to conceal something on my face like acne or something, I don't really want it to be glowy. And then here is the new lightest shade, which is actually really good for me. You can see, I would agree that it is a pretty true neutral tone and it's brightening. It looks nice. Um, so yeah, I have been enjoying using these again. They look beautiful under the eyes, but I'm still kind of deciding how I feel about them in comparison to my other favorite like glowy concealers. And then I also have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade 05 Warm. And don't ask me why, but both of these shades say that. And like this one is obviously lighter than this one. I don't know if it's just labeled wrong. I did receive these as PR when I went on a trip and ColourPop was there. They did like a little uh, bridal masterclass and gifted us some different makeup products. So that's how these ended up in my collection. Let's see, are they actually the same? No, like this one is obviously lighter, right? Are the shade names gaslighting me or do you see a difference? Um, so I feel, I feel mixed feelings about this because I enjoy how light these are. I feel like they're really good brightening concealers, but I don't necessarily love the finish. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just not a concealer that I'm like, oh, I love that. Like, let me use that again tomorrow. Like, I'm just like, eh, like it did the job. So maybe, maybe I'll keep the lighter of the two just for mixing, for brightening, and then I will declutter one of them, even though they say that they're the same shade, but I don't know. Okay, yay, we got one declutter done. So let's talk about this flower concealer right here. I bought this because I saw a lot of hype about this and unpopular opinion, I wanted to love this, but I don't really, I don't understand where the hype is coming from. It is the Get Real Serum Concealer in the shade Porcelain. So I guess I already don't like love the shade of this. I'll swatch it out for you. It's kind of like a pinky peachy shade and it does say it's a serum concealer, but I just feel like 
it doesn't do that much for me. And every time I use this, I end up layering it. Like I end up doing multiple layers or like I'll do it. And I'm just like, I don't know. I would just feel like there's something, something missing. Like part of me wants to hold on to it because it is so hyped and because I'm like, I want to see what everyone else is seeing. But in my heart of hearts, I know that I don't enjoy this concealer and it just doesn't do anything. Like it just does not tickle my fancy. I was about to say, let me put it in my maybe pile, but I'm like, I don't even need to do that. Like I know how I feel about this. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to declutter it. I'm going to declutter it. I have the Nabla Close Up Concealer in the shade Porcelain. And I remember feeling like this was kind of a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. We'll swatch it right there. I would say it's a pretty neutral, fair shade. Um, but I have not reached for this in so long that I don't necessarily remember how I feel about it. So I think I'm going to put this into my maybe category, which is basically just reserved for products that I'm going to try a little bit more. And then I will get back to you and tell you whether I am going to declutter it or not in the future when I'm finished decluttering. We're just going to do a full video dedicated to my maybes, my <laughs> indecisiveness. So I also have the Rare Beauty like brightener here. And it feels weird to include this as a tradi traditional concealer because it's kind of very sheer. And let me see, it's in the shade, who are you? It's in the shade light. So this is a very, very pale brightener. It has like the cool little wand thing happening here. There's what it looks like. It feels really cool on the skin. Like it has like a nice light shade to it. But overall, I have not loved this because I feel like it doesn't do anything for me. But I have been wearing this when I'm wearing like a full face of makeup. And I recently saw Nikki LaRose mention this in her like 2023 beauty favorites. And at first when she pulled this out, I was like, girl, like that is not a good product. Like not that I was going to call me that or anything. I was just thinking like in my head, in my opinion, I was like, that did not work for me. Like I was not raving about that. But she said that this is really a standout product when you're using it for no makeup makeup days, like when you're just running out the house, you don't have anything else on, maybe you have a tinted moisturizer, maybe you have some sunscreen and you're like, let me just throw a little tiny something under the eyes, that's where this product stands out. And I was like, you know what, that makes sense. Like I'm not used to it, I just as like, oh, let me just throw a little something something on. And sometimes I do enjoy doing that. So I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile. I'm gonna try it the way that she suggested and see if I end up feeling any differently about it and I will let you guys know. I have a renewed hope because I really wanted to like this and I didn't. And then let's see, I have a concealer here from Milani. This is a Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade 100W. I wanna say that this is just a little drying underneath the eyes. Like it's just not a formula that I'm obsessed with. The shade looks okay. I feel like next to that, you can really see how much I don't like the Flower Beauty shade. It's just not quite right for me. Maybe that's why I don't like that concealer. Maybe just the shade is off, but I think if I went the next shade up, it would be too dark, but I don't know. This Milani concealer also, like I feel like I've used it on and off, but I've never been super impressed. So I think I'm going to let that go. I have the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer in the shade Cloud. And this is a good concealer. It's like a giant doe foot. It's a very brightening, brightening shade. Nothing like to write home about in comparison to other shades that are available now. When this first came out, it was like, wow, like that's actually a concealer that works for me and brightens. And it still does look pretty good compared to everything else happening here. But part of me feels like I should probably declutter this because it's getting pretty old. And I feel like I have other things that basically do the same for me. I have the Tarte like Shape Tape Radiant Concealer. And this is nice, but for specific use. It's more of like, I have really light makeup on. It's not what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be, like you can see it has a little bit of luminosity there. I thought it was gonna be more like Shape Tape, but just glowier, but it definitely is way more sheer. So if your expectations are right, then you'll probably enjoy this product. I have the shade, what is that, 12N or 1.2N, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it works for me, I like it, I reach for it every once in a while, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. And then I have this IT Cosmetics Concealer, it's the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging. I don't like this, I just don't like the tube per se, this I guess is the only one I have right here that's not a like typical tube. I just feel like it's annoying to get out and it's just too thick for underneath the eyes, which is what it's advertised for. And I mean, I guess I can swatch it for you while I have it here. I have the shade Light Fair. 
Um, but I also just didn't really enjoy using this for spot concealing either because it is very bright. You can see the shade there. Like I feel like if it was a little darker, maybe I would have gotten use out of it for spot concealing. It looks like it'd be a really good brightening shade with the formula. I don't know. I feel like I just don't need that amount of thickness underneath my eyes. It's not me doing me any favors. So that's going to be a declutter. I have this Rare Beauty Concealer here, which is in the shade 100W, I think is what that says. Good Lord, I think I need to go back to the eye doctor and check my prescription, but I love the packaging on this. Um, this is definitely a little bit more of a warm kind of yellowy shade. I am running out of spots. You can see it has that like banana-esque tone to it, which I do like. This is a little more sheer. I haven't reached for this in a long time, but I feel like when I reached for it in the past, I liked it. So maybe like actually going through my collection right now, I know I'm not decluttering that much, but it's kind of making me want to reach back towards this. But I think in the essence of doing the best job that I can, I'm going to add that to the maybes for now and see how I feel. I also have two shape tapes here. I have two different shades. I love the shape tape from Tarte. I don't care what anyone says. So I've got porcelain beige here. Looks like 8B or something. It looks weird. I don't know. Um, that's a little thick. The packaging on this one is kind of the same as the rose ink. Like it just makes such a mess and I always try to clean it up and it just doesn't matter. At this point, I'm literally swatching on my thumb, but it's a really good bright neutral shade full coverage like just does what it needs to do I don't feel like this is drying underneath my eyes but to each their own I also have the fair beige shade which this one looks like this I don't know why I have both of these like realistically I don't need both but I do enjoy the formula this one's like a slightly slightly pinker this one's slightly more neutral, but I know I'm still reaching for them. I still use them. I never got over them. <laughs> I know <laughs> most people have moved on from these, but they still have a place in my heart. So I'm gonna keep those. And then let's see, I have the Maybelline Fit Me. <sighs> What's this concealer in the shade 01, which I believe is a newer shade because when I was younger, I wanted to use this and the lightest shade was always too dark for me. My little sister recommended this and I decided to try it out. It's actually a very brightening shade. I actually think, think, I think. I tell myself that these videos are gonna be easier to edit, but then I just say dumb things over and over again. <laughs> Um, this might even be a better brightening shade than the ColourPop one. Like, it's just super, super light and bright. I don't love it on its own. I feel like it's a little bit too much, too much sheer. Too much sheer. Okay. I feel like it's a little too sheer. It makes sense why my little sister would love this. She's a teenager. Like, she probably just wants a little, a little something, something under her eyes. Like, nothing crazy. And it definitely does deliver that. I think... Okay, I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile because I know I don't love it by itself, but I'm gonna try and use it to mix a little bit and see how I end up feeling. See if I actually end up reaching for it and we'll just put her in my maybe pile, yeah. And then I have the e.l.f. What is this, the satin finish of the camo concealer. I had the OG and I didn't really like that one as much, but this satin one is actually really beautiful. I recently pulled it back out because I did a full face of e.l.f. and I had not used it in the longest time can see the shade is like a nice warm fair shade it's kind of funny I have so many different undertones here but somehow I always make it work that's the nice thing about being super neutral though in general I can make things work but this is the shade fair warm and I like it I'm gonna keep it now let's move on to my pot concealers my thicker bad boys Okay, I decided to include the stick type concealers as well because I only have a few of these and I feel like these are kind of similar type products. So these are more thick concealers and honestly my favorite is the Anastasia concealer in 0.5. I've had this for years. You can see like I'm almost at the bottom. Like I have loved this concealer so, so much and I have made an effort to replace it because it is disgustingly old. Like, so I did purchase the... Fair 6N Concealer from Rem Beauty. This is the only thing I've really tried from the brand and I do like it. It's a little bit on the fair side. I don't know that I can really swatch that that well right now. I'll try and get a little bit out. So there's what 6N looks like. 
So you can see it's not super brightening, but that is literally my perfect like uh, corrector shade in the winter. In the summer, it's a little bit too light, but just for getting over any um, redness or like hormonal acne or anything like that, that's what I like to use this for. So I guess it's not as thick and high coverage as the Anastasia, but I know I need to get rid of this and I have an alternative. So I'm going to, I'm going to declutter that and that's going to go into the trash, unfortunately, but I have loved it. I've definitely gotten my use out of that pot. I also have the Glossier Stretch Concealer I just swatched here for you in G12. And originally I was trying to use underneath my eyes because I thought that that's what it was meant for. I've seen people use it like that. I was like, I'm going to be like a cool, clean girl, just a little, just a little dab underneath the eyes. And I feel like the shade is a little bit too deep for me to use underneath the eyes. It just has like this like peachy warm tone that I don't necessarily love because of how thick it is. But then at the same time, like I feel like the texture is not thick enough to use as a spot concealer. Part of me is tempted to keep this for one reason, I'll tell you, and I promise it makes sense in my head. During the summer, this is too light for me, so maybe just keeping these two and mixing them during the summer is better than like buying another shade of this. Like I feel like I can make it work for spot concealing. It's just spot concealing, it's not that big of a deal. So I am gonna hold on to this, but I'm not that big of a fan of it, to be honest. And then I also have this Ritual Defee concealer, concealing cover in the shade NYX, which looks like this. It's definitely a little bit more of a yellowy tone. This is very thick, like a thick mommy. <laughs> um, and also very yellow. It's kind of the same like banana-y shade as the e.l.f. one, I want to say. Here's what it looks like. I don't know. It's a very thick. I feel like I don't reach for this as much because I kind of forget about it because all of their compacts look the same. So I don't really have like a, a very thorough opinion on it. Um, it is an indie brand, a cool indie brand. So I think I'm gonna put this into my maybe and try and use it more and see how I feel. Maybe I'll like this more than other options, but even if I love this, it still won't replace the Glossier because I need something to conceal and mix with the Rem Beauty to be a little bit deeper, just to make sure my needs are good all year round. So yeah, that's gonna be a maybe. And then let me see, I have, oh, this is actually not, I forgot what this was. This is the Vision Cream Cover Perfecting and Shaping Wand from Nessa Myricks. This is like a super intense concentrated liquid. I don't even know what to call it exactly. So I'll swatch a little bit of it for you here. I, it's very thick and the reason why is because it's meant to be like mixed into other things. You can use it as a foundation, you can use it as a concealer, you can do all kinds of things with this and I just don't. I don't ever reach for it. Like it's nice in theory, but I've had this for years and just, I don't know, I feel like it's just not my style per se. I feel like it's a little bit more artistic. And when it comes to my complexion, I'm kind of just like throwing things on and I just want it to look good right away. And I don't know, I just, it's just, it hasn't been for me. So I think I am going to declutter that. Even though I loved it as a Myrix, I don't, I don't feel good about this, but well, I do, but I don't, you know? And then I also have this stick one here, which is from Nude Sticks in the shade Light One. It's a concealer pencil. I'm gonna keep this because it's the only one I have like this. Do a little swatch for you right there. I really like this underneath the brow bone. I don't reach for it constantly, but I really should because it does add like a nice little brightening moment. Now let's do color correctors. This might actually be a little bit easier. Oh, let me put that in the middle. I love color correctors. I'm really into them. I, I just vibe with this type of product. So my favorite is the Becca Smashbox Under Eye Fair Light Concealer. You can see I've definitely gotten a good use of product out of this and I really, really enjoy this. Definitely staying with me. But I am gonna go ahead and get rid of this mini because this full size is actually newer and I've used for the full size more than the mini. The mini's kind of old. You can see I've gotten a good use out of it, but I can only use this with a brush. It's just a little bit too small. I have the full size and it's pretty old, so I'm probably just gonna throw that in the trash. And then I have the Natasha Nona Color Corrector. This is in the shade C1. 
This is very orangey, like, I was expecting something a little bit different. I'm still trying to use it and see how I feel, but I don't think it's gonna be a favorite for me, but I haven't had it that long, so I'm gonna let it run its course in my collection a little bit longer. I'll even swatch the Becca one for you just so you can see what the correctors look like on my arm, even though I do have like tiny little bit of stainage. So there's what fair light looks like. Oh, man, I don't wanna dig my nails into that, but I did. Definitely more of a pinky, peachy tone versus orange, and that just seems to work perfect for me. Easy to clutter for me is this Pixie CC Crayon by Under Eye. It doesn't really have a shade on here, but I do believe they have different shades. They sent this to me in PR, and again, it's just like very orangey, like another level. It's just not the right shade for me, but it's also very thick. So I feel like I could have tried this and been like, oh, I like the formula, let me get the right shade. But because it's so thick and like, I don't know, I don't really love it. I'm just, just gonna declutter it and move on. I also have the Huda Beauty new color corrector in the shade Cherry Blossom. I just tried this last month for the first time. It's a little bit more of a pink shade. We'll put her right here. I'm really enjoying this one actually. I'm still figuring it out, still seeing what's up. I can't give you my full thoughts, but I do appreciate that this is more coverage and I feel like it is doing something because in comparison I have, I'm keeping that, I have the Milani Supercharged Under Eye Tint in 110 Pink Rose and this one I feel like is not doing anything. Like I feel like it's just an extra step for no reason. Like I guess you can see like a tiniest little bit of pink but overall, I just feel like it's not doing anything for me. Like in comparison to the Huda Beauty one, like it just has so much more going on. So even though this is pretty new to my collection, I think I am going to declutter it because I just don't love it. And I know that I don't love it. I also have two of the Fenty under eye brighteners, which were also in my shop my stash for this month. I have the shade Golden Ivory and this one is kind of similar to the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener, but this I feel like, gosh, where do I even swatch this? It's a little, it does a little bit more. This is like a warmer shade. Just do a little swatcheroo right there, the weirdest swatch ever. But I don't fully have an opinion on this shade because every time I've been using these this month, I've been reaching for the Rose Quartz shade, which is a little bit more pinky. I don't know, I'm just like into the pink under eye right now apparently, but I feel like because these have tones to them, they have a little something different versus the Rare Beauty one where I felt like it wasn't doing anything. I feel like sometimes I enjoy mixing these and adding them into other products just depending on how they look on my eyes and I feel like these make other concealers that I have a little bit more versatile. Like I said, I, they kind of got buried in the back of my stash, but I did really love them. And I, and I liked using Rose Quartz this month, so I am gonna hold on to these. All right, y'all, so I have not fully swatched my concealer co collection in literally years, so I hope that was helpful for you. We've got five maybes here. I feel like I can definitely try all these out, see how I feel about them, and come back and let you know. So here are all the products that I'm decluttering. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. You know what? For thinking that it might be zero, I think ten is not that bad. Okay, so here we have all of the collection that is staying, and honestly, I feel the exact same way I felt in the last two declutters. I'm looking at everything and I'm feeling like, you know what, I'm kind of loving this collection. I love the way it looks. I feel like these are things that I enjoy. So we do have one, two, three, four, five color corrector-esque products. We've got two pots and 15 traditional concealers, which is still a lot. Still a lot for somebody who only has two under eyes, but I'm happy with it. I think this is a good little declutter. So overall, we have five maybes, 
10 no's and 22 yeses if I counted right, because that was pretty fast. So, so I really hope that you enjoyed this declutter. I hope it was entertaining, satisfying. I hope that you're not mad at me for how much I kept. And I will see you again in another video very soon. Bye.